all right folks so we are back with the second video in this small agents series so in the last video we talked about how we can get started with small agents then i also discussed how the small agents are kind of different if you compare with the other agentic frameworks so in case of small agents they kind of uh, generate a lot of codes and based on those codes uh, uh, action would be performed and then the observation would be generated and based on the observation uh, further steps can be taken to accomplish uh, the sta task right so this is typically different to other agentic frameworks where uh, those agents typically do the tool calling using the json format right so now let's uh, get started with this video where we will talk about the agentic rag implementation with small agents so first of all uh, what we will do is we will initialize the credentials so we will need the hugging face token without that this small agent will not work then what we can do is we can test out this uh, small agent initialization and and also we can pass a sample question to see if it is working or not let's talk about what are the issues with vanilla rag implementation Right. So vanilla rag has uh, several limitations. So mostly those are two which was discussed in the hugging face blog post where they discussed how we can build the agentic rag system with small agents. Right. So the first one is like it performs only one retrieval step. Right. So it does uh, based on the user query or the prompt it will do a single retrieval step and that will be passed as a context to the LLM along with the question for the generation phase so which single retrieval step may not always give you the correct context that needs to be similar to the question right so uh, so that will in turn result in a bad generation right so that is one of the issue the other issue is that the user query will often be a question and the document containing the true answer will be in the affirmative voice right so the similarity score will be downgraded if you compare this question and with a document which is in affirmative tone so uh, they kind of uh, suggest that you de redefine the question and make the question in a more affirmative uh, tone which will result in a higher similarity score and which will in turn fetch the correct document from the vector db right so we will see when we uh, go through the code that uh, small agent kind of tries to regenerate the question in such a way that the question is in the affirmative tone and based on that it runs the retrieval step right so the agent what we will use here is it will try to do mainly two things right it will it will try to change the tone of the prompt to more of a affirmative tone and also it will also play as a critic which will try to re-retrieve if it is needed right so these are the two things that we will see in this uh, small agent based agentic rack system which will have these two features so the, as i discussed like those two are nothing but it will try to formulate the query itself which will be more in affirmative tone and also there will be a critic which will evaluate the retrieval process and if required it will do the re-retrieve to um, to fetch the better context from the vector db right so uh, let's index some of the data into the vector db which we will use in the rag so what we are doing here is we are downloading a data set from hugging face which is uh, this one and then we are only getting the data that is related to transformers right and based on that we are creating the knowledge base once the knowledge base is created then we are converting to a uh, uh, Langchain document format and we are creating this source docs which is nothing but a list of uh, Langchain format documents where we have the page content and also the metadata right so once that is done then what we will do is we will create the chunk on on top of those documents so we will use the recursive character text splitter to split the documents into chunks and then uh, after splitting we will get this variable which is new docs and after that using a embedding model where we are using the bg uh, small embedding model and using that we will push those individual chunks to the vector db right so we can see here we are using chroma as a vector db and then we are pushing all those chunks to the vector db so once uh, that is done then what we will do is we will 
create a retriever out of the vector db and then we can try out certain retrieval so we are passing a, a sentence which is like forward pass in transformer and then we are getting back the results so that means the retriever is kind of working on top of this document so once that is done then what we will do is we will create a retriever tool so this we also discussed in the last video that we can create custom tools and uh, those tools we can integrate with the agents so that the agent whenever it's required it will do a tool call uh, and it will fetch the corresponding results right so you can see we are creating this retriever tool and we are giving a name then we are giving a description which tells you like uses semantic search to retrieve the parts of the transformer documentation that could be relevant to answer your query right so then we are mentioning what is the input for this tool so that is typically a user prompt or a question so we can see like the type is string then we give a corresponding description for that and also mention that the output would be again a string right so then we initialize this init uh, function where we kind of initialize the retriever and we kind of uh, use the oops concept to create this retriever right so once uh, that is done then what we will do is we will implement this forward function which will accept the user query then it will do this retriever dot invoke where we will pass the query and then we are doing certain string manipulations to get a more formatted result right so then we are uh, creating an object out of it and we are naming it as retriever tool right so this retriever tool we will use whenever we will initialize the agent so you can see we are creating a code agent there we are mentioning uh, the tool is this retriever tool and also we are passing the model as HF API model uh, which will use the default uh, model then we are mentioning this important step related to the agentic uh, VRAC system like it will at max it can take four steps to get the to generate the final answer right so if the intermediate uh, fetched retriever uh, context are not relevant to the question then it will uh, go on to uh, further steps till it reaches the max step right and we are mentioning the verbose equals to true which will tell us what are the intermediate steps that are going on right so then what we are doing here is we are firing a question so that question is for a transformer model training which is slower the forward or the backward pass right so you can see the question uh, or the prompt is uh, in a tone of a question so it is not a affirmative tone so let's see how uh, the small agent tries to um, retrieve this question related documents from the vector db and then how it finally generates the answer right so you can see it is using this queen 2.5 coder 32 billion instruct model to pass what it does is is it kind of breaks down the question not only it only breaks down the question it also kind of uh, make the whole prompt and changes the tone of the prompt to a more affirmative tone right so you can see like it break down the question to forward pass in transformers then it again does a retrieval using this uh, another pass using this backward pass in transformers and then it fetches those two corresponding info from the vector db so once it retrieves those information then it goes through those document and then it will generate a thought can now let's go through the thought so it can it tells you that the retrieve document do not provide information about the relative speed of forward and backward passes then it it, it thinks that uh, the content that has been retrieved so that is not relevant to the question so it does not have the uh, correct context to answer the question right so then it will uh, reform the question so you can see like it's changing the question to this two questions forward pass speed transformers and the backward pass speed transformers so we can again see the question is in affirmative tone and it's breaking down the question to two pieces and then it's doing the retrieval right? so uh, then it uh, goes through the vector db and tries to fetch the relevant uh, context and again it will try to generate a thought right now let's see what this thought is so it appears that the retrieved document still do not provide the information related to the forward and backward pass given the lack of information 
um, so we will focus the query on the performance benchmark comparison between the forward and backward pass right so as it is not getting the correct context now it will again try to regenerate the query and then it will try to do a, another vector search right so now we can see that the question is like comparison of forward and backward pass in transformers right so which is actually a very uh, novel way to kind of keep on trying to retrieve the relevant document from the vector db instead of just using a one retriever uh, step in a typical rack system right so then again it goes through the step three and it tries to fetch certain information uh, where it tries to uh, reform the question like computational complexity of forward and backward pass in transformer which is as we mentioned like the max step equals to four so it already uh, kind of fetched all the relevant document using this th uh, four steps and then it will generate the final answer right so you can see like finally it generated this answer so which is kind of uh, tells you like the in the uh, context of training transformer model the backward pass is generally slower than forward pass and then it kind of gives you a lot of reasoning uh, with this lot of retrieval step uh, it kind of tries to regenerate the question in multiple times change the tone of the question to affirmative tone and then it does the retrieval right so yeah you might be thinking that this has a latency issue but so whenever the retrieval quality is more of an importance so that time you can go for this type of approach right so then let's fire another question which is like for a transformer model training what is the role of scale dot product right so it goes through several iterations it tries out uh, different uh, types of question whatever the best matching uh, content it has retrieved and based on that it generates the final answer right so this is how you can build a uh, agentic rag using small agents and i found this approach is uh, quite intuitive in nature and also quite robust in nature so it does not rely on a single retrieval step it uh, goes on till it thinks that it has the final answer which can be you send back to the user as a response right so maybe in the next video we will talk about how we can build a multi-agent systems so with this i will end this video thank you see you in the next video